What is going on YouTube? I am back with another video in the Stream Deck playlist series. And today we are going over the plugins page. In a previous video, I let you know that we were gonna do a deep dive of the plugins store and reviewing some of the more popular plugins and how you can add them into your Stream Deck and then put them to use. I'm India Delgado. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're a returning watcher, thank you so much for coming back and checking me out. And if you're new here, a super, super thanks to you for coming in and checking out the channels. And I hope to hear your feedback in the comments. For now, let's get straight into it. This is the Stream Deck store. And I'll just go over again how you get into the Stream Deck store. You're going to look for your Stream Deck icon that is located in your taskbar. You'll click on that. It's gonna open up a menu and towards the bottom right under preferences, you'll see store. Once you click on that, it's gonna open up this page here. You can see your different options, discovery, plugins, icon, music, and sound effects. Today, we're gonna to do a focus and deep dive of plugins. You have a breakdown where you can filter it. So if you are looking for maybe some specific lighting plugins, you click on that. And what this does is that this gives you the direct plugins that Elgato has worked with with some vendors where you can control your smart lights and smart devices. You can see I have the Elgato key lights. So that's the plugin that I have installed. If you have Philips U, you would install them. The Nano Leaf, you would install them, so on and so forth. So you can just look at the different categories and go one by one, or you can just search by all. Another thing that you can do within the plugin store is if you know that you're looking for something in specific, you can come over here on the right hand side and you can search. Let's say I know that there is a PowerPoint plugin. So I'm just gonna go in and as I start to search, there's actually, as I put power, two came up. The actual power plugin itself and then a Lumia Stream plugin. I would say start off by searching this plugin store and seeing everything that they have available. I create my videos using Ecamm Live, so you can see I have that plug in here because it gives me the options to customize my stream deck to make my recordings and my live stream such a streamless process by having this plug in. So you can take a look and I would say install everything that you know you will be using. Once you've gone ahead and you've installed the plugins that you want to focus on, then what you're going to do is you're going to come into your configure stream deck page. And so that's what this looks like here. In order to get to this configure stream deck page, you're going to click on that same icon that's in your taskbar, your stream deck icon. Let drop down that menu. And you'll see at the very top, configure Stream Deck, and that's this page here. As you can see, we start from a new profile. So if you just got a Stream Deck, this is what it's going to look like. You have your default welcome box here. But as you downloaded programs, they're going to show up over here on the right hand side. So these are all of the plugins that I've downloaded, whether it's Discord, you have OBS. There are some custom things that you can add on there. Twitter, Twitch, again, you'll know what you downloaded according to the type of content that you create and the platforms and services that you use. Go to your plugin. Let's say for now, we're gonna focus on Zoom. Almost everybody uses Zoom for something, whether it is for school, whether it is in your business, whether it is in a church service. At some point, you have used Zoom. So this is a really cool plugin. And once you open it up, these are the different options that are available for you from within Zoom. So you have the standard mute, your standard show and hide, or what is it, stop and share your video. Let's say in the same page, you're doing a Zoom and you're actually sharing a PowerPoint presentation. Well, I did download that plugin. So in the search box, because I have a good amount of plugins here, in the search box, I'm going to search power and this is my PowerPoint plugin. So every plugin has under its own menu, the different options and shortcuts that you can take advantage of. Once you start creating your items, then you'll know which plugins to use. 
That is how you look for plugins. That is how you get to the plugins page and how you add your plugins to your stream deck, depending on the type of service and the type of content that you're going to be creating. Let me know what you thought of this video. Did you find the video helpful? Is there something, a specific plugin maybe that you want me to go over? Leave me some comments down below and I will definitely look into it and see if I can get a tutorial video up for you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the alert button if you found value in these Stream Deck playlist series. The next video that I'm going to be doing is the customizing icons button. You saw that I showed you a little bit within this video and you can find that next one here and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.